Do we have to yeah. do an acrobat check to stick the landing? Mm, if you want to, again. All right, roll acrobatics if you want to land on some in some kind of pose or some to stick the landing. <laughs> if we all uh, succeed, we do like the Power Rangers thing. All right, everybody, yeah, everybody, everybody roll. roll. Every if everybody makes it, oh god. <laughs> uh, if everybody see, makes it, do the Power Rangers. Was... Oh wait. Heck yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, kind of plays uh, the castle. Um, <laughs> we're going to have everyone succeed, and then we're going to have Dow just fall flat <laughs> on her face. No, <laughs> she's not good at you. Sure, that's Micaiah's acrobatics, so... No, no, every, everybody lands perfectly, and then Down comes in behind him, and it's just like oh, bowling pins. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm the DM. So everybody sticks to landing and then down comes in like bowling pants and not so Genius. Uh, genius. Totally original idea. Totally original. Yeah. I'm such I'm a great I'm glad you genius. thought of that. Yeah, I know. I don't know how that these things come. Really? Right. That's you know. why you're the DM. That's why I'm the DM. <laughs> so, so we're currently all just in a pile now. <laughs> yes. Down Yay, on top of all of you. <sighs> down. You're acting like as if you're top burb. <laughs> Down is tougher. I mean, but you're, you're down. Top. Yeah, but you're down. Oh. Well, I don't know. I mean, I can probably hold all of their weight and still remain standing just fine. So, all I right. So yeah, just be everyone in a pile on on my back, and I don't even notice. Hmm. All <laughs> right. So everyone down is on top of a pile made up of everyone. Um, what? Is- <laughs> Micaiah, cardboard Micaiah's on the side going, let's fly to the castle. And Arya's trying to yank the case out of the pile as she is saying, could, could you get off of me? Uh, sorry. And now it's going to move off. Arya will move sure. a lot off along with her stuff. All right, so you guys eventually get out of the pile. Sky just really doesn't care and just stands up because she's a strong cow. Sky don't care. Sky don't give a damn. Yeah, yeah, get her done. Am I right, brother? Give shit. Anyway, so you guys uh, go into the alchemist shop. Kind of your only option now, really. So you guys enter the alchemist shop and you see familiar sights, you know, all the potions on the tables, see all the research materials, books, lining shelves, papers strewn about on tables, other tables, some tools to, you know, distill other like uh, ingredients. See one of those ground thingy rocks, you know, like a bowl and then like a ground. Oh, uh, a mortar and pestle. Yeah, that thing. Those things. Uh, and uh, you enter, and you're greeted by one of the shop's employees. It is, in fact, Robin once more. He before before he notices you, however, he looks as if he's looking inquisitively at a potion that he holds up in his talon to the sunlight, at, as much as he can get from the barrier being around the building. For he comes he, and he goes. Yeah, he hears the doorbell chime. Turning his head, he goes, ah, welcome to, oh, ah, it's you, th- not you three, it's you all. <laughs> the three important ones. The three important ones, you know, yeah. Cardboard, Rikaya, Sky, and oh. uh, 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 that other one. You decide amongst the three of you which the other one is. Okay, bird fight the death, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Roll initiative. One. No, no, no. Anyway, uh, clearly, so, the burbs are the important ones. <laughs> so he goes, oh, all right, you fight again. Well, nice to see you're done with whatever it, is you, whatever it was you were doing. How did they go, by the way? Just making a delivery. Guinness says hello. Ah. He uh, does like a little finger wag with the hand that wasn't holding the potion. He's now on two legs. He no idea how he's standing up. He uh, goes, ah, now there is a f- now there is a fellow who knows how to talk because he's got a good accent. <laughs> 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 uh, 
They're like twins. They're like twins. He's also so, the one that we were making the delivery to. No, really? Yeah, small world. Well, what, uh, what brings you back here? As uh, again, not damn it, as Robin <laughs> places the little tiny uh, potion thing on a nearby counter, he inquires why you're back here again. While they're uh, approaching, Arya is just keeping her talon ready to open the case. And she responds with, We heard, well, the paper heard. A paper heard. About the disappearance of... Okay, I'm not going to get this wrong again. Someone else, please remind me of the name. We heard that Tarragon was missing. Thank you. Yeah. (sighs) Yay. Last of Tarragon has been gone for quite a few days. No idea where he went, though. He just up and left one night. Ali no went clues. to go. Ali, Ali went into his room to bring him morning tea, but all we found was nothing. Just leftover notes, books opened at various pages. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, nothing giving any hint as to where he could have gone. No locations. The magic that he was looking up was uh, both ancient and modern. Nothing really giving concrete evidence to where or what he was doing. Did it seem like he was taken against his will or that he just left on his own, perhaps? Well, once I got up there, after all he got me, no, I didn't see anything. It just seems like it up and left. No signs of a struggle, no signs of anything. No broken windows, no burglaries, no murderers, thankfully. Is there anywhere that he normally travels to that he might have gone to? A... Robin thinks for a second. <laughs> His beach home. <laughs> His beach home in Vegas. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to Vegas. <laughs> oh, all the way across Earth. Uh, he responds with, "Well, going to Las Pegasus." No, because Las Pegasus is a stupid city name. We're going to Glitter. Oh, no. Anyway, so he responds, "Well, uh, rubbing his." He does, he does have a secret alcove. Well, not so secret because I know what it, exactly what it is, but and he, just he does have a secret alcove. Did you think to check there for him? Yes, but he wasn't there. Mm-hmm. So, dead end. I didn't really have anywhere else to think of other than, you know, the neighboring cities, you know, like Vegas, Kuar, you know, those. But getting word out to them, eh, I'm not too sure about it. But I did try. I did send letters, letters, inquiring if anybody had seen them. Just yesterday. One or two days wasn't that bad, but on the third day, you'd start to think someone's missing for Uh, You think maybe he left something at his alcove? Or... Believe me, I checked that place from top to bottom. It is not that big of a place, but... <laughs> it's an alcove. <laughs> I know, it's an alcove. That's... It's it's just like a windowsill somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's, well, I mean, like, I should have specified, an alcove is in, like, a tiny hole in the mountain. That, yeah, that, a tiny that, one. <laughs> yeah, a tiny one. Like, the size of a small room, like a closet. Like a windowsill. Well, maybe, maybe like a big closet, but, like, you know, not that much room. Anyway. And he continues that, no, nothing there. Do you know if he was researching something that might have taken him away? Well, yes, like I said, the what we found left were his open books to various pages of old and new magics. The weird thing was that most of them seemed to be time-related. 
Time travel. <laughs> he whispers. <laughs> time travel, guys. <laughs> no, uh, he said time related. Either, uh, either uh, messing about with time or trying to control it. Well, you know, time manipulation is not exactly uh, the most reliable. The mm, in what's it called? In uh, a recent book that came out, some wizards over in the big cities did have a successful run with trying to, as they called it, leap forward in time. Quantum leap. Down is uh, so, listening with interest. Yes. Yeah, so, so there is. We have that, but nothing too conclusive. It just seems all strange, really. There's the big research into the chaos magic, the time travel, the old magics, the new magics, teleportation, and I have no idea. You know, there were ups, there, some of the books were also about teleportation. No idea why, though. It's very strange. It almost seems like he was trying to go somewhere. Well, maybe he did. Maybe, but not too sure yeah, about it. Or someone. Glad you get inspiration. Hooray. <laughs> Just for that joke. Uh, anyway, uh, so he puts a hoof, not a hoof, he puts a talent to Before, for whatever reason, before, for whatever reason, you suddenly hear shoom, as suddenly Robin has a scaly, talony hand on him. And a voice talked to him, saying, Well, search is over, I'm back. <laughs> and you're our one millionth customer. You're our one millionth <laughs> customer. No, but. Now you're uh, starting Robin... to unlatch the freaking case. <laughs> hold on. Wait, 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 wait. And, uh, hold on. All right, all right, hold on. So Robin looks over at the hand that is now suddenly on his shoulder and looks up at this dragonborn and goes, Hi! What the? Who's it? Where? Huh? All right, now you may open your case if you so wish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> suddenly hmm? shocked by this. She's going to reflexively open the case that she's been carrying around that she's been denying opening this entire freaking time. And on the inside is... A rock. A rock. <laughs> it's a rock. <laughs> Not just any rock. It's a rapier. We know. Anyway, so you, what are you... What you... You're just taking it out, right? Yeah, she's just taking it out. She's not pointing it at anything yet. All right, so you're just wielding it, okay? So do, do we all recognize It's more of a reflexive kind of thing. thing. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. Okay, so uh, while while Robin is kind of like stuttering, you all see that the Dragonborn is, uh, it has a, you know, like a caring smile on his face. So Arya, Sky, and Glenn, you all recognize this dragonborn as the same dragonborn that Arya you saw in that uh, right. one shop, and that Glenn and Sky you both saw in the uh, blacksmith shop. So cardboard Micaiah and Down have no idea who this person is. So cardboard Micaiah responds with, "Let's fly to the castle." <laughs> and later, uh, Micaiah. Later. <laughs> There's tension building right now, Micaiah. Hold on. So. Uh, yeah, so Robin eventually gets his uh, his cool back and goes, okay, who are you? And how did you get any of them? Dragonborn responds with, oh, come on, come now, Robin. You know exactly who I am. See? The uh, Dragonborn kind of like puts his hands together and kind of like... Uh, like wiggles his fingers like underneath his chin. No idea, but it you think it's he's trying to motion like a beard, maybe. Robin is like, hey, 
don't understand. What are you? What? Oh. <laughs> oh. So, uh, what's it called? The Dragonborn responds with, oh, All right, well, I guess I'll have to drop the act. But at least this guy, or no, he's not, he's not Irish. <laughs> he's wrong. <coughs> he, uh, he, he responds with, Oh, well, looks like I'll have to drop the disguise. It's Long so, Johnny Silver. Oh, no. It's Long Johnny Silver. No, no. Roll initiative. <laughs> No, 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 <laughs> no! It's actually Long Johnny Gold, Long ah, Johnny Silver, oh, brother. I prefer Long Johnny Silver. Silver. <laughs> what about Copper? Wait, hold on, hold on! I've got a perfect Micaiah Long, reference. Long Johnny it's Copper is Long, the one that nobody Long talks Johnny about. Long Johnny Star Platinum. Long oh. Johnny Star Platinum. Oh my God! <laughs> Well, Mikai, if you're watching, you're welcome for that Jojo riff. Anyway, no. Uh, so bringing his hands together, the Dragonborn does kind of like a, makes like a kind of like a like a triangle shape, you know, like Illuminati. No, but like a, a triangle shape. As he begins to concentrate, and magical yeah. power seems magical power begins to flow from him and surround his body eventually enveloping his entire being as slowly it starts to shrink down not necessarily in mass you know like it's tinier and tinier but it does you know shorten until eventually uh it begins extending out behind where his legs were it, it is assuming the vague shape of an ungulate before the magic dissipates oh, vague. and a very old well not very old but like an oldish looking white unicorn is left in its place. He looks super old. He looks, uh, oh, you call that old? Oh, no, it's the time spells. He aged. Oh, you call that old, you young whippersnapper? Why, I ought to... He uh, raises his hoof and kind of, like, shakes it in the air. Arya swears yeah. in the Luxor ratio. <laughs> you watch your language, young Missy. <laughs> Back in my day, that was our word. Just Snickers so and puts the rapier back where it was. Yeah, so Robin Robin is just kind of like flabbergasted at what just happened, but he goes, uh, uh, Master? That was you? You were, a, you were an entirely different species. How did you do that? It was nothing. It was, it was just a bit of the chaos magic. <laughs> Wait, what? You, that, that, that was chaos magic? What? When did... Uh, 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 it seems that this master, Tarragon, is, is master that Robin just called this unicorn, is indeed the master Tarragon that is his Don't worry, I'll teach you one day, Robin. But for now, I, I, I believe these... These ladies are also in shock on what just happened. Don't worry about it. You explain it to them. Me? I, I have no idea. Wait, what? Huh? I'm just kidding. <laughs> as he, as Master Tarragon pats Robin on the back in a jovial manner. What a character. Uh, yeah, on. what a character. Oh, hold on. This is sh the shop. That, the, the, that was you? Yes, that was me. That was my shop. What of it? A unicorn can have many business ventures, don't many business ventures, don't you know? Oh, you think I don't know that already? No, oh. I'm expecting you to know that. Now, he switches you, back now, to his language and says, about? Of course I would. He responds in uh, the unicorn tongue. Yes, of course you would. <laughs> now, what are you still confused about, young missy? 
he responds in common this time. Back back to common. Well, kids, nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. All right. Well then, I'm sure all of you are wondering, along with my assistant here, how I just became a unicorn when I was looking like a dragonborn. Well, the answer is simple. Can I roll knowledge arcana? <laughs> I use the simple spell called alter self. <laughs> no. Yes. But... Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Now, hold on. Now, you can if you want. Actually, no, alter self won't work. She can. Same size. Because it's humanoid, isn't it? All right, so the 13. You can gather that obviously it was magic that he used to transform himself. That's good. Yeah. That's however, good. you however, you don't know this a spell that works to this effect, changing anatomy to quite this degree. You've heard of, you know, uh, what's called um uh, uh spells that could change you know, like your appearance like uh like as an illusion. You've heard of spells that could change your appearance from, you know, one humanoid-ish creature to another humanoid-ish creature. The same thing for ungulates, an ungulate to an ungulate. However, you you don't necessarily, you haven't necessarily heard of one that completely changes your anatomy, and that one and one that makes it so that you can seamlessly use the motor functions of an entirely different species that walks on a different number of legs. <laughs> Must be a druid. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, those darn druids. <laughs> those oh, wacky those, druids. Those wacky druids. What will they say next? <laughs> anyway, so um, Master Tarragon continues. Well, the short answer is chaos magic, but the more detailed answer is chaos magic. Uh, However, it goes a little deeper than that. You see, my guests who I guess are just here. As you can tell, Robin, show them. Do the thing. Robin goes, wait, what? what? Go on, do it, do it. Do it, do it. Do, it. do the thing, you know, the, the, with the hoof. You know, the chaos magic. Robin goes, Robin takes a few seconds of being flabbergasted, like just like a what? Face, until it finally clicks in his head. Uh, oh, no, oh, it's right, right, right. right. Robin once again does that thing where he holds out his hoof and the end becomes more of a bestial claw that is, you know, all black and dark and edgy, LC, donut steel kind <laughs> of feel. He uh, then dis or dismisses the same thing before Master Terragon continues. Now that was a small, small bit of chaos magic. What it can really do in large amounts is what I was doing. He puts his hoofs together on the ground once more, and as the chaos magic envelops him, as you know, it, that's what it now is. You see it envelop him, and as it slowly does the reverse of what it did just a few moments ago, the back, his hind legs begin to shift into his front hooves as his body just sort of starts to grow vertically into that of a dragonborn until it you know, dissipates and he's once again a dragonborn. Huh. You see, that is the power of chaos magic, completely bending the rules of traditional magic. And that's not all. You see, I've actually had plenty of time to learn. Plenty of time. In fact, I've actually, I've actually learned how to... It seems that with the proper amount of training, You've been trained for an entire decade on a single breath, and only a minute would have passed for the real world. Ah. He holds his hands uh, to the sides outspread. That is what I wish to control. I wish to harness this power for the good of both ungulate and humankind. 
Oh, shut up, Sky. I just barely read that. Shut up. <laughs> oh, you shut up too fast, Bray. Both of you, shut up. You both lose your inspiration. <laughs> give it to no, me instead. My poor inspiration. Oh, no, oh yeah, yeah. You can give inspiration funny. to other people. I give it to him before it disappears. <laughs> All right, fine. Down, you now have inspiration from Glenn. Good. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Anyway. Ah. So he so he says that yeah, you want to con try and control it for the good of human animals. But none of the other races, just humans and angulars. You know what it means. <laughs> he means the other races too, but you know, just in general, all the peoples of the world. Uh, all the peoples of the world. Oh, just the world, not the other world too. Oh man, of the worlds. No, he hates. He hates the. He hates the negative plane. Every other plane <laughs> is fine. Okay, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm on board with because, that. Because they're all negative myths. Because they're all negative fancies. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, he he also he might... responds to Arya now looking at her. He was... And if you still had another question, the question about the storm. Well, that's simple. I brought it in there through the chaos storm. I replaced it in time. I changed that store with another store. 30 years in the future. It's time travel. It's amazing. Seems dangerous in the wrong hands. Yes, yes, it is. She's just gawking. Yeah. Not, e not even understanding this whole magic thing. Glenn doesn't try to understand. She just accepts that he knows what he's talking about. Down is hmm. uh, really interested as well. She likes hmm. that kind of stuff a lot. Hmm. So uh, Robin pipes up, Master, are you sure it's okay to be messing with time? I mean, that's an entirely new set of magic that no one is even tempted. And then he remembers that paper. And uh, <laughs> didn't even bother rolling, did you? No. Nope. You don't okay. let people without the uh, magic roll. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, you broke it before! I'm just kidding. just kidding. Anyway, so Robin continues, but then he stops himself because he remembers that one. It, well, mostly. Um, uh, so the Master Terracon now in Dragonborn form. Yes, Robin, but... That's just it. I've actually been practicing. Remember, a decade in a single breath in a single minute. Now I'm not. Now I'm not saying. I'm not saying that I can control time. I'm also not saying that I can time travel to any time I want. However, I will say that I can change time. Also, a bit of space. It's kind of weird, but it's also so fascinating. I've been, I've been researching, I've been testing, experimenting in the chaos storms, which actually kind of might have been why you have one right now. <laughs> I was about to ask if there had been any negative repercussions. Yeah, so you ask if there's been any negative, and yeah. Well, that's no, he, he, he. Yeah, he mentioned the chaos storm before I bothered asking. All right, well, he responds with, eh, yes, I may have been, I may have been the one that accidentally caused that to appear my bed. So are all of these chaos storms a result of your experiments? Well, this is the only one that I know of. But it could be a result of future testing or past testing. I'm not exactly sure. But it could be. It's a possibility. At the very least, I know that I didn't cause the, what, the last chaos storm. That is for sure. However, this one is entirely up to me. Sorry about that. So does that mean somebody else could be practicing the same thing you are and causing these other storms? Yes, it's a possibility, or like normal. It's just a, it's just a random occurrence. Our why chaos... am I giving him a, 
Why am I giving him a Guinness accent? I don't. Everybody reverts back to Guinness at, at some point. <laughs> Are the gas out at the bar too long? <laughs> Are they the gas off. storms a natural occurrence? They don't seem natural to me. Well, well, natural, unnatural occurrence. If that even sounds remotely not idiotic. Has Bryn always been a site for these storms? No, it's, this one seems to be the first. First. For Bryn. And yet there were defenses in place around the city. Yeah. Does a, every city have a bubble or whatever this is? No. Not everyone. I set up this one specifically for Bryn because of my tests. Originally, I designed it before I learned how to accidentally cause a chaos storm. So but I fixed my mistake. I, I, I saved the town. I protected it at least. He, say, he did a quick save. <laughs> Essentially. He, he went back in time and fixed it. A little bit. That's what a quick save is. <laughs> Little bitch. But I planned for this way in advance. Way in advance. Before I even started uh, started to use Chaos Magic to its full potential. Still sound like I'm going Guinness, uh, Jesus. I think I just like that. Just go, back to, much. just go back to his shopkeeper voice. Yeah, okay, I'll go back to this voice. So he reverts to his unicorn form again. <laughs> so he continues. After he reverts, uh, he goes, this, uh, this chaos storm will give us plenty of information. Robin, what have you written down about the sightings from the chaos? Robin responds, oh, uh, well, there I go doing the voice again. But this time, it's on purpose. He goes, Well, uh, it seems that the lightning this time around, as opposed to the last sighting, is turning the trees different colors, making them bear different fruit. You know, watermelons on trees, strawberries on trees, bananas on trees. Even though I'm pretty sure bananas are on trees, I don't remember, though. Bananas on trees. Yeah, I think we're on trees. The sky is all lit up. Sky is now covered in Christmas lights. <laughs> it's glitter <Yay>. dust. <laughs> Chaos Magic will do that. Chaos Magic will do that if you're hit. Sky, you're so shiny. Oh my god. You have permanent uh, glitter dust on you now. You're blue now. Anyway. Press the digitation make things shiny. All right. And uh, Robin lists off more and more of uh, the differences between this chaos storm and the last chaos storm. Some of them actually do, in fact, you know, uh, resemble each other. They're the same. However, you know, some are slightly different. Whereas some might have changed colors, some might change taste, and you know, such small differences. Master Tarragon listens on, listens on uh, with. Uh, with uh, rapt tension. Mm. Well, it seems not a lot of damage, but still, we could learn a lot from this. Further study. I'm sorry that you were all caught in the crossfire of my testing. I'm actually very sorry to the entire city of Bryn for getting caught in all of this. I didn't mean to do it, but at the very least, I hope that everyone can forgive me with at least shielding them from my mistake. Well, as long yeah. as they were in the cities, I don't think there was any harm done. Yeah, banana trees. That, those. It's weird. Ari's just shrugging. They grow that, no, that, that's what I do. All right, so... Gun drugs. Uh, Arya doesn't care. 
So it's at this point that everyone hears a loud thundering. There's a cat outside. That sounds like thundering. Thundering, yeah. Yeah, anyway, so... um, So everyone... uh, Robin and... uh, Robin and Master Tarragon look over at one of the windows and look outside, trying to find the, the source of the noise. So does everybody else go look to go look out a window? Yeah, yeah. that's the Ari's looking out. All right, so as everybody's looking outside, everybody can see clearly that the chaos storm clouds up in the sky have begun to, like, condense, sort of, like, where there were once, you know, dark and ominous and, you know, crackling of red-pink lightning, they are now uh, condensing towards right above Bryn. It doesn't exactly look pretty. Is that supposed to happen? Master Terragon responds with, No! At the very least, I don't think. Is that the shield of yours going to hold up? I haven't actually seen this specific thing happen in, my, in all of my testing of the chaos magic, or my northern study of the, the chaos that I could that I studied. Well, you do seem to be the leading expert on it. Do you have a an opinion on what this might be? Hmm. Perhaps I believe it is the storm imploding before it finally dissipates. That's however, a good thing? However, I don't think it will go away so easily. So as he says that, it seems that the regular sky peeks through once all the clouds are, you know, like... Con- Hello, con- Sky. Con- just a regular <sighs> cow. She just peeks yeah. through. Hello. Yeah. Hello. No, Aww. it's like uh, it's like a, what's it called? It's like that that uh, that gif of the screaming cowboy. That's sky in the, in the sky. <laughs> that's not a normal sky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the the sunlight peeks through the cloud because uh, before the cow storm clouds were casting everything in this kind of gray tint. However, now it appears that you can see sunlight. Finally. Wow. So. Yeah, so as the sunlight peers through, everyone, uh, you're blind. Oh, no. Make constitution saving throws and not be blind. I'm joking, by the way, don't. I'm going to anyway uh, because I'm proficient and want to fail. (sighs) Fine, you go ahead. Anyway, everybody else, you just see... (laughs) Down, don't stare at the sun. (laughs) (laughs) You don't tell me what to do. All right, fine. (laughs) My eyes are cold. (laughs) You all see... Uh, you all see bright light for the first time in about a day or so, a day or two. It's kind of jarring, but your eyes are just fat. We're However, diurnal. Mm-hmm. You also see that you all also see and hear the clouds condensing over Bryn start to undulate in a sort of sort of a like worm manner, like they uh, what's that word? Uh, not coalesce. Uh, the one where it's like. Uh, paris, peristolic, peristolic motion. That's the motion your, your throat makes. It's like a squeezing a tube, right? That's what that motion is. Peristolic. Okay. Oh yeah, peristalsis. Yeah, peristalsis. Yeah, peristal- uh, it starts to do that. It's like it starts at the very top of the clouds, and it starts to squeeze. It looks like it's squeezing everything down onto the very bottom that is right above the shield that is uh, uh, covering Bryn. It almost seems like it's trying to like get something out. So you all see the clouds rapidly, you know, like squirm, undulate, just shift around, aiming itself at Bryn. It does not look pretty, and uh, and Master Terragon makes that known. This does not look pretty. This does not look pretty! I don't know what will happen next. I think we'll just have to wait it out and see. Robin, get the... And before... Master Tarragon was even able to finish that sentence. The storm clouds all begin to explode in one giant streak of lightning aimed directly at the shield 
of Ring Bryn. The shield shatters and it audibly does so. And it and from where you are, you all see that it shatters much like glass in shards, and the shards themselves begin to fly in every which direction. They're big Sounds shards, by the way. They're not small. They're they're like huge chunks. They're Sounds like painting dangerous. themselves on trees and nearby and the nearby land. Oh no. So what you're saying is the sky is falling. <laughs> Sky. You get inspiration. Oh, oh, no. Sky. Now. Sky, you I get inspiration. Sky. I help Sky get back up. Sky, you get inspiration. Okay. No, you don't. I'm kidding, because uh, that was awful. However, sky I, will, has fallen. I, I, will, I will say that I do like the chicken little weapons. You don't get anything, right. but still, I appreciate it. That's all I need. That's all you need. You'll, all you need is be, to be on the, the DM's good side, and that's all you need. As long as I am appreciated. Yeah. All right. So everyone <laughs> everyone, make dexterity saving throws. To you not... Like save. To not... Yeah. No. Dexterity saving throws to not be tipped over and fall on the ground. Well, okay, Griffins. burbs. You know what to do. <laughs> Griffins, <laughs> I believe, this counts for that thing of being like... Tipped over or whatever. Don't you know what is the, the advantage? Yeah. yeah, advantage versus being knocked prone and balanced yeah. next saves. There you go. So yep. Griffin's get that. Sky, I don't believe it applies to cows because it doesn't impede your movement. I mean, okay. Oh, I needed that. Or does I so forget? Did I. I forget the cow version. Is it say about like getting knocked over? Uh, it says advantage on saves against effects that well. What I have written down is effects that impair movement, except for stunning. Hmm. I mean, well, being prone doesn't impair impairing. your movement. Uh, yeah, you just... I don't think that makes it. Down. Uh, it's, it's, just leave it at the one roll. Oh, so we are actually rolling deck saves? Yes. Yeah. yeah, Krampus is attacking. Shut up. So, let's see... Glenn got 22. Arya got... Of course, the guy that's not rolling freaking advantage. Get this. Uh, Down got 8. Wow. And Sky got 17. All right. So the below 10s... So seriously, just down. Just down got knocked over. Well, what about Cardboard Micaiah? Cardboard Micaiah? Uh, Let's see. She tips over. Easily tipped over because Cardboard... Oh no, Makaya. No, no, she makes it. She got a, a thousand thirteen, but she's fine. Wow. Gosh. Yeah, uh, it's a, she had Gosh. a quadruple inspiration that rose exponentially somehow. There so she easily makes it. She, she everyone stays relatively on their feet except for Down, who tumbles a little bit. Her you know, easel was holding her up. Mm. <laughs> she was propped up against something. <laughs> Probably. All right. So, as everyone, you know, takes a tumble, Robin does not. However, Master Charagon does and falls flat on his. Oh no, he's old. <laughs> uh, my bones, uh, my glass bones and brittle skin. Uh. <laughs> he'll have to go back in time to get those fixed. <laughs> no, he'll have to turn into a dragonborn who's young, and you know, at the top, at the peak of his. Uh, like form or whatever. Anyway, so after the shakeup and after the uh, the barrier, just Master Tarragon and Robin both ask everybody, uh, "Is everyone all right? Is everyone good?" Uh, Don picks herself up and nods. Uh, oh my head. Yeah, I, I, I forgot how much it hurt to be old. Yeah. Robin goes over and assists his master in standing up and being being a shoulder for him to lean on. Uh, take it easy, Master Saragon. Take it easy. Uh, now, on to that. Uh, what should we do now? Uh, we need to go and see if everyone's all right in town. We need to make sure no casualties happen. 
<sighs> Everyone yeah. dead. Everyone. Oh, no. They're all Chaos Storm is dying. gone right now, right? Yeah, the storm is now gone. Bright Light is finally here. The, sh the shield is now shattered and in large <laughs> chunks all across the, uh, the landscape. Then Arya's going to no dash out. How... Arya's going to dash out and start flying toward the city. All right, and you have it's no idea castle, how the city but... has been doing. She right, sure does on. go off and do her own thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So you don't know how the city is doing. All right, so Arya, you said you were dashing. She's dashing out and flying. Now it's going to follow right. after her, if she can. Also I'm flying? Faster than all of you. Also uh, flying. I know. <laughs> I should have got Longstrider. Well, Glenn is sticking with the group. So you're going with him? No, the groundbound group. Oh, the grounds, okay. So, Sky, do you go with them or do you stay here? Sky can't fly. <laughs> Running! I said go with them. I didn't say fly with them. Shush you. Let's see. Actually, what, out of character, what it what is the fly speed? It's uh, walking speed plus what? Ten. Uh, ten. So Arya's is fifty. Forty. Arya fifty. Oh, I forgot your land speed is forty. So that's yeah, what I'm saying. Because guy is faster than most other land-based creatures, but she's not that fast. I'll get fast movement in like eight levels. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sticking with Ryan, Ryan, Robin, and Tarragon because they seem to know what they're doing. All right. Wrong campaign. Yes, oh, I know. Sky, Sky, do you go with them or do you stay behind? I will stay with Glenn and the others for now. All right. So Sky, Glenn, and Down, you all went towards the city, dashing off. No. Cardboard, no, no. Micaiah. No. Uh, no. No. Arya. And down went towards the city. Right? Yes, I, I just said he'll go with them. Who? I thought Sky just said down and them. So no. I thought that's what, where he was going. I said Glenn. Sky? I said Glenn oh, and Glenn. the others. Oh, okay. So it's just down and Arya that went towards the city. All right. Yeah. So Arya and down both went flying off into the city. Glenn. Uh, Glenn, Sky, and Cardboard Micaiah stayed behind with Robin and uh, Master Terragon. By the way, the, the, this shield above the alchemy shop is also, it, it went away, just just to clear that up. <laughs> yeah, Ar Arya, Arya smacked into it. Yeah. <laughs> Slams <laughs> into it like a fly. Slams also, into it. Slams into it. Uh, Did no, they no. use Windex on it? <laughs> so would Micaiah be no, flying to no. the castle? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, the, 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 when, when the Bryn shield went down, this one also went down. However, this, the one above the alchemy shop, uh, you know, just went down like, in, like normal instead of, you know, like broke into magical chunks. So, yeah, you two make your way off towards the city to check on any and all, you know, civilians or how everyone's doing after that giant uh, explosion of the shield, while the rest of the team stayed behind with Robin and Master Tarragon for various reasons. And I think that's a good enough place to call a session for now. Yep. I should say that Down is not concerned about the citizens. She's more concerned that last time Arya went away, something weird happened. Uh... <laughs> Arya has her own reasons. 